Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be reading The Silver Eyes, Part 2. Let's get straight into it. There were no bodies, but we knew it was him. There was no doubt, but the children, children had disappeared. They were never found, and without the bodies... But kidnapping? They disappeared! How could this man be walking around somewhere? What if he does it again? Justice penalizes the guilty. But it must also protect the innocent. It means that sometimes the guilty ones get away with the horrible things, but it's the price we pay. So it's pretty late. Why don't you kids stay overnight here? You can scold Carlton, Carlton for his little prank in the morning. There we go. It was my price. Freak? Does it hurt? Chapter 8. The next mor morning. You have to get him, Clay, right now. How could you w wait all night? Who are you calling? The police. I am the police. Then why are you here instead of finding my son? Betty, it's just another joke, Carlton being Carlton. Remember the frogs? It's different. This is different. It's Freddy's. You're acting like I wouldn't understand, Betty. I saw Michael's blood streaked across the floor where he was dragged from. Well, you didn't see him. He lost his best friend. Let me tell you something, Chief. That boy has thought about Michael every single day for the past ten years. There is no way on earth that Carlton would discreate, discreate Michael's memory by making Freddy's a joke. Call someone right now. Meanwhile. Ooh, bring me a, back a soft pretzel. Hey, Nora, done here. Back at the mall for another look. Burke said his son is supposed to to be here playing a prank again. This is where I met his friends last night. I can't tell creation from destruction at a distance. Just a costume. Yes! Stanley! You remember him? How could I forget a mechanical unicorn? Your big girl closet. So, what was in there all those years? Not sure. I sort of remember we came back one more time. I guess we picked clothes from it. I'm going to see if I can find any photo albums or paperwork that can help us. Squeak, squeak! I think I found something. Don't look so happy. Yeah. That's you and Sammy? Charlie, what happened at Freddy's all those years ago? You know, I don't think your father did it, right? I know. But I might... I remember him dressing up for us in that yellow bear suit. Dancing, or doing dances, mimicking along with their songs. It was so much a part of him. He was the restaurant. Charlie, don't say things like this. You know it's not true. Do you, do you know how my father killed himself? I remember my parents talking something about a knife and all the blood. There was a knife and there was blood. My aunt came to get me at school in the middle of the day. I knew something was wrong. You don't cut go home from school in the middle of the day when everything is fine. She picked me up and brought me to the car and told me that she loved me. I love you, Charlie, and everything is going to be okay. And then she told me that my father died and asked me if I knew what that meant. I did. She said I was going to stay with her for a couple of days and we would get some clothes from there. 
we went through the door. She covered my face with her hands, so I, I wouldn't see what was in the living room, but I did see. So that's how we, of course, sorry, two hours later, this doesn't lead anywhere. Nothing is in order. There are, pic there are pictures of my parents, Sammy, and me as babies and newborns, and then as toddlers, pictures of the house, parties. Charlie, look! Yellow rabbit. There's a person in there, and this is in this article my dad had a partner this says we're the joint owner hang on guys be right back i'm gonna pause my recording anyways charlie john he's gone jason and jason is gone he he's gone back to freddy's chapter nine no if i could just ah boom <gasps> I wouldn't do that. Who is it? Let me out of this. Creak? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Never trust a rabbit, I say. Don't speak. What kind of name for a serial killer is Dave? I told you not to speak. It's not an order. It's a friendly reminder. Do you know what I've put you inside? Your girlfriend? <laughs> You're amusing, but no. You're wearing a costume. These suits are designed for two purposes. To be worn by men like me. And to be used as working animatronics like the ones you can see on stage. Understand? You see, all of the animatronic parts in the suit are still in it. They can simply be held back by, the, by spring locks. You, uh, like this. These are spring locks. Watch. Snap! You can trip those spring locks very, very easily. It takes almost no movement at all. That's very, that's a very old costume. One of the first ones Henry made. Henry, who's Henry? Henry, your friend Charlie's father. Do you not know that he made the place? Well, that's one of... The, his first suits, and if you, you trigger those spring locks, two things will happen. First, the locks themselves will snap right into you, making a deep cuts all over your body, and split second later, all the animatronic parts, all that sharp steel and hard plastic will instantly be driven into your body. You will die, but it will be slow. You will feel your organs punctured. The suit will grow wet with your blood and you will know you are dying for a long long time you will try you will try to scream but you will be unable to your vocal cords will be severed and your lungs will fill with your own blood until you drown in it how do you know that how do you think <laughs> don't move Outside Freddy's. Who who does this? Boom! 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 Someone did that. Someone wanted it, or somebody welded it shut. Jason is in there. There has to be another way in. Yes, and I know it. Come on! A few minutes later. A skylight in a closet who's bright brilliant idea was that a few minutes later oh i already read that never mind you know we can't get back up through there we just need something to stand on or climb on pirate's cove we can think about how to get out later we we have to find carlton and jason now i want to take a look in this control room. Lamar, well, come with me. The rest of you try the other one in the main room. If we each take one set of cameras, we can see the, the whole restaurant for sure. If Jason's in this place, we'll see him. I don't think we should split up. Wait, 
Where'd you get those? Miss Burke gave them to me. So you guys go back to the main stage. We'll check out this control room. All right. Ready? Marla! Charlie, we found Jason already. Jason! Jason, how could you? The vent. Oh, hang on. Jason, how could you? Yeah, really, how? The vent. You could have been killed. Okay, okay. Glad to know you're in I'm important and everybody missed me. You are important. Click. Okay, let's see what we can see. Look. Lamar, you have to warn them. Charlie, the guard is somewhere around there. Hide. Somewhere nearby. No time to lose. I'm almost in sight. If they are here to look for me, they'll check the cameras. Voices, people moving around. No time to lose. Well, I already read that. <sighs> Carlton. It's me. It's me. It's me. Chapter 10. <laughs> hey. Something is seriously wrong with wrong here. Bonnie? Charlie, Lamar here. Don't leave the control room now. It's too dark. I can't see anything out here. There. That's Carlton right in there. I'm going to get him. Charlie, wait. Clack. Rattle. Great. It's bolted shut. Sure. Don't leave. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Shove. That wasn't me. Wait. Where is... Ah! Click. Calm down, Trim. Did he follow me? Crash! Crash, crash! John! Charlie, it's stuck! Meanwhile... Carlton! Charlie? A springlock suit. That costume is going to kill you if you move. Thanks. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm probably the only person alive who can get you out of this. Lucky me. It's important that you hold perfectly still now, Carlton. Yeah, so serial killer man explained the don't move thing to me. Stop talking. I'll try to work fast. Not too fast. Shh. Okay, Carlton, we're almost done. I'm going to open the last one, and you throw forward. When I do, you pull out as fast as you can, okay? One, two, three! Thud! Chink! Crick! Ching! Carlton, are you Okay. I think I was trapped in that thing for hours. I feel all tingly. You must have a concussion. Carlton, you said serial killer man. I told told you not to move. Is he here? I guess so. It was Dave the night guard. Charlie, the kids all those years ago. Michael, the others. What about them, Carlton? They're here. Dave took them from the dining room. They're still here. How do you know that? The yellow bear. I think it's Michael in that suit. Chapter 11. I still can't get this thing open. Rattle, rattle. Both of you, be quiet. Slam! Marla? Charlie, John, get out! Marla? The lock. We didn't... Creak? Creak? Marla! Jason! What do you mean? It's Michael... What do you mean it's Michael in that suit? I know it's how it sounds, but... Tap, tap, tap. Now you've... Now you've done it. Thunk! Whoa, you knocked him out cold. Come on, we have to get out of here. I don't know how long he'll stay out. How, what do you see? Nothing, it's nothing. I, I think it's safe. Whatever it was, it seems to be gone now. 
Yeah, but it broke the lock on off the door. Slam! <coughs> John, Jessica, shh, it's us. Carlton, are you okay? Yeah, never felt better. He probably has a concussion. He needs a doctor. We're all going to need a doctor if we are stuck in here. We could try the skylight. There's got to be a ladder somewhere. We can't get Carlton out from there. And what about Lamar? Mar Marla and Jason. I hate to say it, but that guard is probably our best chance to get out of here. Go, go! Well, if we want to go, we should do it now. Go, go! He's dead. I didn't think I really... No. He's just out cold. We have to tie him or up or something. I agree. Let's look for a rope. This place seems to have everything. Why don't we just put him in one of the costumes? Charlie? Where's Michael? What? Michael was there. He was right there. Yes, Carlton? Eek! A cop. That's Officer Dunn. I guess your dad sent him to look for you. There's nothing we can do now. I found some cords. Come on, we don't know how much time we have before he wakes up. 23 knots later. Hey, dirtbag, wake up. Here, try this. Splash! So, Dave, how about you tell us what's going on? <laughs> is he alive? There is something different about him. He doesn't react. Click, click. His pulse is normal. Why don't you tell us about the kids you killed? And stuffed into those suits out there. Carlton, everything you're saying is nonsense. No, it's true. This is the man who killed Michael and all the other kids. Crack! Uh, something I can't say. Why is that in the book? Oh my god. That's a bad word. That's it? You, you want that? You want this? You need this? My dad trusted you. What did you do to him? I helped him create. We both wanted... Love, your father loved, and now I have loved. Sick, uh, bleep. The kids you killed are still here. You've imprisoned those kids. No, they're home with me. Their happiest day. How do we get out? There's no way out anymore. All that is left is family. When you're trapped here, too, so you're not going to hurt anyone else? I don't have to. When it gets dark, the spirits will awaken. They will kill you. All. I'll just walk out in the morning, stepping over your corpses one by one. They'll kill you, too. There are, there are, they're the spirits of the kids you killed. Why would they kill us? It's you they're after. No, I'm quite confident that I will survive. They don't remember. They've forgotten. The dead do forget. All they know is that you're here try trying to take away their happiest day. You are intruders, grown-ups. None of you will survive the night. And what makes you think they won't kill you? Because I'm one of them. Chapter 12. Charlie, he's insane. We have to get out of here. I'm going back to the control room. Stay here with Carlton and Jessica. For now, I'll contact you with the walkie-talkie if I need you. Careful, okay? Sure. Has Dunn reported back from Freddy's? No, sir. I'll 
Slam. Employee background check. Check. Employed at Hurricane Mall construction site. Jason! Marla! Jason! Run! Run! It's alright. We have... It's alright. We have to... Are you injured? Guys. Ah! Quick to the party rooms! Carly, I found a, them. Do you think Foxy followed us? Shh, do you hear that? It's that music box. Wonk! <laughs> John, Charlie, come on, hurry! We can barricade ourselves, ourselves in here at least. What? It's locked. Is someone in there? Dave, he got loose. We have to. We're trapped. Charlie, what are you doing? To a chunk. <laughs> Ah! Charlie! Charlie, it's alright. Let's go. I'm alright. Let's go. To the main dining room. Froomp. Clonk. <laughs> Crash. I have to get out. I have to. Froomp. Shove. Wamp. Charlie. John. John, Charlie. Charlie, Charlotte. Shh, later. Michael? Michael, it's you. It's the kids. Foxy wasn't attacking Jason, he was trying to protect him. Crash! Thud, thud. Dad! Carlton. Hey kids, I think it's time to go. Come on. Gah! You're staying. Absolutely not. I will kill this one right here while you watch unless you do as I say. Ugh. Okay, we'll do as you say. What do you want? If you want to be one of them, then be one of them. Skin. Twitch. Let's go. Chapter 13. Charlie, are you sure you don't need to go to that hospital? I'm fine. I just need to change clothes. Jessica and I will stop at the motel and follow you then. I call for a shower, Jessica. Okay, I'll make an exception for Charlie. What happens now? Well, I still have to get my officer, so I have to go back in there. What do you think should happen, Charlie? Nothing. It's over. I should be left that way. I should be left that way. You've been carrying Freddy's with you all those years. It's time you left it behind. The next morning. So are we ever going to see each other again? Oh, Charlotte. The end. Alright, that's the end of the book. Bye, guys. Hope you guys liked that story. So we're going to be moving on to the Twisted Ones in the next um, thing. You guys are going to have to tell me if you want the graphic novel or the, or the like actual book. Along with the fourth closet. But, bye! Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're going to be reading The Silver Eyes, part two. Let's get straight into it. There were no bodies, but we knew it was him. There was no doubt. But the children, children had disappeared. They were never found. And without the bodies. But kidnapping, they disappeared. How could this man be walking around somewhere? What if he does it again? Justice penalizes the guilty. But it must also protect the innocent. It means that sometimes the guilty ones 
get away with the horrible things, but it's the price we pay. So it's pretty late. Why don't you kids stay overnight here? You can scold Carlton, Carlton for his little prank in the morning. There we go. It was my price. Creak? Does it hurt? Chapter 8. The next morning. You have to get him, Clay, right now. How could you wait all night? Who are you calling? The police. I am the police. Then why are you here instead of finding my son? Betty, it's just another joke, Carlton, being Carlton. Remember the frogs? It's different. This is different. It's Freddy's. You're acting like I wouldn't understand. Betty, I saw Michael's blood streaked across the floor where he was dragged from. 